Hi guys, my name is Jerry. I'm from Wild Eye, and due to popular demand, actually, well, I posted this on my Instagram feed yesterday, and a lot of you have asked for this. One of the most popular blogs I did, I think about a year ago, might be more, was around how to photograph stars and the Milky Way. So if you want that, simply go and Google Wild Eye Photograph Stars, and you'll get to that. Follow the first link. That's how you photograph stars. But quite often, people will look at the images, and it just doesn't look the same. So in this video, I'm going to run you through Lightroom and how you can process those raw files of the night sky. You can check it on my Instagram. That's the short version. Here we go, slightly longer, and in we go. So what you see on screen here, this is the final version of the image we worked on, and this is the same one from the Instagram feed. Watch now what I happen. I'm going to reset this thing back to its raw original state. Uh, if I can get the button. Reset. Boom. Immediately, it looks less dull, and you can see the blue is gone. Often, often, it's a white balance issue that you need to fix first. But let's start from the basics. And down here, let me zoom in for you, these were, I think they were little villages or something in the distance. So before I start, I'm going to get rid of those two, the clone and heal tool, quick and simple, and done. And then before I start anything, if you look at this nicely, you can see there's a bit of a vignette around this. And that's this lens correction I need to do. So if I scroll down and I click Enable Profile Correction, done. Immediately, watch again, there's with and without the vignette. All right, so once I'm there, I can start working. Now, if you looked at that Instagram video I had yesterday, the first thing I do with images like this, because a lot of people struggle to see it, but there's a bit of an orange tone in this image. It's not as blue as what it was when I was standing there. So I go to the temperature slider, which is white balance, I take that and I slowly move it to the left, which cools it down, and it gives me immediately this looks more natural. Agreed, yeah? So watch, before and after, big, big difference already. But, now remember this, when you use the sliders in the general panel, in the basic panel, those are global adjustments. So my Milky Way and the entire image has been cooled down. I still want to get those colors back into the Milky Way. Well, hang on, before we get there. First thing I'll do here, is I'll raise my exposure a bit, just to brighten up the whole thing, and then clarity. Now, remember, clarity is like, it's not sharpness, but it gives a sharpening effect. What it does, it enhances contrast around the edges, and there's a lot of edges in this. So, I'm gonna take my clarity up, up, up. I'm gonna overdo it a bit for you, so we can see it nicely, there we go. I'm gonna give you a before and after again. See, we're getting somewhere already. Now. I can do other things here like saturation. Let me give a bit of vibrance just to make the color pop. And now, all, all I still want to do here is I want to highlight and emphasize this Milky Way. Now how you do that is you create, open your special adjustment brush, zero everything. And what you want to do is you want to increase the clarity because it sharpens it a little bit. And now, remember we cooled it down in the beginning. I'm now going to warm it up slightly. But now this is selective, it's not global. All right, so with those adjustments, I open up and I just broadly go over my Milky Way like that, and I'm pretty much done. Watch that, before and after, yeah? Big difference, and even with me talking, it didn't take long to do. Now, again, remember, and I said this in my Instagram post as well, guys, I do not give you recipes to follow. I give you ideas and techniques that you can try in your own images. If you follow a recipe-driven workflow, I think you're going to lose because no two images are alike. The content is different, the tonal values is different, the contrast, the saturation. So you can't just apply a recipe onto something. That's why I sometimes wonder about people buying, uh, what's these things, um, actions or, what's the one in, I'm blank. Presets. Yes, thank you, Marlon. Presets or actions. People buy them and they say, I can't, why would you buy that? Rather learn how to do it and you won't have to pay and I believe your images will be better. Right, that's how you photograph a star image. If you have questions, my details will be at the end of this video. Get in touch and I can help you from there. Also, if you do post images like this on your Instagram feed, tag me in. I would love to see how you have come along. Then, before I let you go, exciting stuff happening. We had a meeting earlier on here in the Wild Eye office. The whole team is in. Watch the social platforms, guys. There's some interesting stuff coming along. Podcasting will start next week. African Wildlife Photography Podcast. Very excited for that. And also, you remember the Q&A videos we used to do? Yeah? There were 50 of them. It took about a year and a half to get to 50. 
The new series launches next week. Not only Q&A, more magazine program like with background info on destinations, what to photograph, when to photograph, how to photograph, and then also a Q&A element. So that's very exciting. Stay tuned. All of that coming up next week. Let me know if you have questions and um, I will see you guys back very shortly. My name is Jerry. I'm from Wild Eye. I'll see you guys next time.